but you know, one thing that really comes to mind is, you know, because I've, I wondered what is it about Santa Claus? And yes, you know, it's, it's out there. You rearrange the letters and it spells Satan and you know, probably a coincidence, maybe not. That's not the direction I'm going. This is not hokey like that. But just look at how people describe him, you know, and how this mentality of Santa has replaced our concept of God year round. And how, you know, people will put a manger out front of their house, um, the little, you know, slopey roof and back wall and a couple of posts to hold it up and they'll have uh, the whatever they consider to be an old feeding trough and the animals around and the baby Jesus laying on some hay in there. Um, and then they'll go into their house and they'll watch these Christmas movies like Polar Express and I have nothing against that movie. It's a fun movie, I understand. But it's full of magic. It's full of what is literally witchcraft. And it shows, um, among other things, you know, and there's many, many others. What is it about Santa? And I, I noticed over and over, more and more, they openly confess that Santa is the spirit of Christmas. And you think, well, you know, if Christmas is a good thing, that's gotta be a good thing. Well, you know, the spirits that exist that are, that are true, there's God in three persons, the Father, Son, and, and the Ruach HaKadosh. There's, you know, there's the breath that he gave to man. There's the angels and the, the fallen spirits. Where does the spirit of Christmas fit in there? Where, where is the fat, jolly man that says, um, you don't have to have a relationship with him, just be good. Just be good, be your own version of good however is decided, you know? If you really examine that, you'll begin to see that it's a deceiving spirit. And a spirit that has taken many people captive and made it difficult to truly worship God, not just at Christmas, but year round because that same mentality, you know? And uh, this could be, this video could be hours long if I start rambling because there's just so much to say and I, I believe it should be said by his, his spirit, his Ruach HaKadosh, and by his scripture, and not by the people who rant and rave and try to tell you how evil Christmas is, because if you don't come to that conviction on your own by seeking him, um, I, certainly, I certainly can't overcome that, and I wouldn't try. Um, but at the same time, I, I'm not trying to villainize all the things that you hold precious that are still good things. They've just been taken captive by things that aren't good things. So, you know, it, it is what it is and hopefully this makes sense and hopefully it's food for thought. Hopefully you'll be able to take this and, um, and, and it will bear good fruit in your life. Um, you know, hopefully you don't number us among the fruitcakes, but if you do, hopefully you like fruitcake. I don't know. You know, hopefully hopefully it's a good thing. Hopefully it it will cleanse cleanse you, you know, not not anything we've said or done, but just that we were obedient to make a video that we really were not comfortable making because we know how people get and we know um, all the things that, that come against Christmas are, are supposed to be bad. You know, there's Scrooge, who was not generous, and there's the Grinch, who, you know, was, you know, just a, a bad creature, not even the same kind of creature, and, and all these things... Just give it some thought. Just give it some thought and let his light prevail in your heart. I, 
I don't want to go on rambling. Is there anything else you, you thought of? Mm -hmm. Folks, be blessed. Um, it's my joy to have my wife here with me and, and have her thoughts and, um, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, she'll be able to join us for many more. Hallelujah. Shalom. We'd love to hear from you. Please write to us at disciplesofcana at gmail.com.